so uh, the entire purpose of uh, having created a factory for wheel and seat is that we don't need to you know manually do it one by one like this and also like the number of wheels that the wheelbase has uh, let's just uh, you know use that number and do this somehow and then also for seats I think uh, in chassis uh, it might not necessarily have four seats okay so here's where we will uh, use a little bit of Kotlin um, you know uh, usefulness and utility a Kotlin has something called a sequence generator and we'll see how uh, to do this uh, of course so uh, what we'll do is we'll have a variable here uh, num seeds uh, which uh, we'll do is uh, we'll uh, create a when on uh, this dot uh, type okay and what we'll do is we will uh, return here uh, num seeds will make it like you know int type and uh, we will uh, return basically uh, that uh, if it's a hatchback it should have four seats if it's a sedan it should have uh, five seats if it's a SUV it should have uh, no, no uh, eight seats and uh, if it's a pickup truck let's have it has uh, you know uh, six uh, seats okay so something like this okay so uh, this is the number of seats so what we'll do here is the val seats here what we'll do uh, we'll write uh, generate sequence and we will uh, generate a sequence uh, like this uh, a sequence of uh, seat factory dot create seat okay and uh, then we will do dot uh, take uh, four of them and then dot to uh, list okay so what this does is that uh, this part of the function actually uh, generate sequence seat factory dot create so it creates a sequence of items each one of being of this type okay and then we take four of those uh, and then we turn it into a list okay so we'll do uh, something uh, similar here uh, we'll do it uh, in a wheelbase as well so here we can do uh, like you know um, uh, val num uh, wheels equal to uh, let's say we hard code it to four for example here for now and then we'll do something similar generate sequence uh, um, seat factor uh, we'll do wheel factory dot uh, create wheel take four uh, turn it into a list right. Uh, for chassis what we'll do is instead of taking four we will take dumb seats so as many seats are there that many uh, we will do here okay um, so yeah, let's run this and see so now what happens is that uh, when we are you know uh, say uh, we are creating uh, this uh, wheelbase we can also have this uh, property here that uh, well uh, spare wheel uh, boolean and we can give it a default value that uh, by default it has it does not have a spare wheel uh, some cars might have spare wheels and some cars might not have spare wheels so say now when you're making a vehicle uh, you see that you know in Honda City what we can do is okay this uh, does not have a spare wheel let it be false the eco sport say has a spare wheel so uh, we do true here okay uh, so spare wheel equal to true uh, so we do here so when we write spare wheel true here uh, for eco sport uh, like right now the price was six lakh ninety three thousand if we run it again you see uh, uh, it should have uh, increased i believe um, yeah so we can basically take the number of uh, wheels that is coming from you know uh, here oh sorry num wheels i'll do a spare num wheels four uh, plus and uh, if uh, spare wheel then uh, one else uh, zero so like that we can write okay so yeah so four uh, four plus if spare wheel one then uh, zero so in that case uh, you know uh, if uh, there is a spare wheel available then the number of wheels uh, we do four plus uh, one otherwise we do five and uh, in that case like for example this eco sport that we have we want to uh, print like eco sport uh, wheels equal to and we can do eco sport dot uh, wheelbase dot num wheels and we will find that you know uh, we don't need to write the rupee symbol here so it has got uh, five wheels and if we turn this to uh, false then it means it will be having uh, four wheels okay so that's also another thing that uh, we can achieve uh, using this mechanism okay 
uh, so here wheels we should take num wheels here instead of that and then we'll see the price also would be uh, changing here um, uh, so this is with the spare wheel uh, uh, without the spare wheel this is with the spare wheel so the price as you can see it becomes uh, seven lakh five thousand and number of wheels is five uh, so uh, similar to that yeah. okay so uh, so so this is like a you know a good uh, pattern to use is that you create a generator for the number of wheels that you have so that uh, you know you don't hard code five wheels or four wheels or something like that instead you just provide the factory for creating wheels where the user will select a certain uh, type of uh, wheel or certain type of uh, seat and then we'll use the generator to generate the number of uh, wheels or the number of seats that we need